A state lawmaker is proposing changes to highway message boards that normally give traffic updates. This comes just weeks before the anniversary of the deaths of Orlando Police Lieutenant Deborah Clayton and Orange County Deputy Norman Lewis. Now, police say that Clayton was shot and killed by accused murderer Markeith Lloyd outside of Walmart, who had been on the run for weeks. Deputy Lewis died in a traffic crash while searching for Lloyd. Channel 9's Ty Russell explains today why drivers are not the only ones impacted by these proposed changes. I'm along busy I-4 where many drivers are usually notified about many problems with message signs just like this one. This one is telling drivers about congestion in the area. However, one state lawmaker is hoping to use message signs like this one to notify drivers about dangerous criminals in the area, similar to the way they're notified about the silver and amber alerts. Yeah, I know whenever there is an amber alert or anything, Posted on the highway, I always look. Vanessa Torres of Orlando supports State Senator David Simmons' bill he recently filed. He started thinking about it following the search for accused cop killer Markeith Lloyd. Simmons, who represents a portion of Seminole and Volusia counties, wants to establish an imminent threat system. That's a warning to drivers when the public safety is at risk. The notification should be given not just to public schools, but to... Uh, uh, to private schools as well as to child care facilities. Simmons says similar how public schools are placed on lockdown. He wants the same to happen to other facilities with children. So he's hoping law enforcement will create a lockdown alert system, including private schools and daycare centers. I have two kids, so I think it's something that's kind of essential in this day. I mean, nobody wants to think about that happening, but it, unfortunately it does. So. The bill Senator Simmons drafted, hoping to use message boards like this one to alert drivers about dangerous criminals in the area is currently being reviewed by committees in the state capitol. But for now, we are along I-4 in Orange County. Ty Russell, Channel 9 at Witness News. Senator Simmons is still waiting on someone to file a similar bill in the House. He also believes the bill could be added to a massive transportation bill after the committee review.